Okay, I really think every road cyclist in the world should have this radar light. What's up everyone, my name is Charles and welcome back to my cycling YouTube channel. In today's video, I will go over on how I use my Garmin Varia RTL 515 rear radar light. This though is not going to be a tutorial or features of this light, but mostly on how I use it in a bunch of different scenarios from solo rides to group rides and there will be some cool motion graphics along to explain what I'm trying to say. So stick with me, it's going to be super interesting because this light is an absolutely game changer. And I want to say a quick disclaimer, I did purchase this light full price and if you want to put your hands on one, there will be links into the description for you guys to get it. And just to give a quick overview of this product, so one, it is paired to your head unit, either a Garmin, a Wahoo. It does show you the cars coming from behind you. It's going to give you an alert. If there's a car, it's going to give you another alert if it's a truck or a semi-truck. And this way you can see on your head unit how far the car is and how quickly it's coming to pass you. And this is a total game changer. So in today's video, there will be two sections on how I use it being solo and how I use it in group rides. So the first way I use it is when I'm on those country roads and there's not much cars and there's an alert, there's a car coming back, I always look back and try to make a first eye contact with the car. Looking back like this will let the cars know that you know they are there and it might increase your chance of them to be more careful with you. And in the event it's a truck, a semi-truck, or 18-wheeler, the alert on the GPS will be a lot stronger. It will be more of a ringing sound. So this way you can really know that get prepared for some wind to push you so hold your handlebars harder and it does makes a big difference when you know if it's just a little car or you know if it's a big truck. And now one of my tactics that I use all the time on country roads is when there's no shoulders. And when there's a car coming behind you and there's a car coming in front of you in the other lane. So what you really want to avoid is both cars crossing each other at the same time that you're right there. So that means cars passing you will give you absolutely no space. So this technique that I found that worked out really well if, if I have an alert, a car is coming 200 meters behind me and there's a car coming in front of me, I will go into the middle of the road. And the reason of doing that is when the car behind you come in, he will take his feet off the gas because you're in the middle of the street. And then you see the other cars and he will not make the pass because you're taking the whole lane. And as soon as the car in the other lane pass me, I move to the side of the road and the car behind me can then give me more space and go around me. And this technique has been working really well with me because cars who's coming behind you faster, they don't want to kill you because you're in the middle of the road. They don't want to kill themselves so they won't go into the other side of the road. So they will be forced to slow down. It might be a little bit annoying for them, but my safety and my life is more important than to annoy this driver that is going to wait for a couple of seconds. Maybe they will come right next to you, they might honk, but I, there's no way I'm gonna let a car pass me while there's a car coming in the other lane and there's no shoulder. And what's amazing about the Varia is that you know how close the car is to you and you can really see when it's going to pass you. So looking down on my GPS, I see when the car gets to that line right near to my watts, I know that it's about to pass me so I can really hug as much as possible, give myself more space, give the car more space, and that way it's safer for everyone. Another good usage about the Vera I do is when coming into, let's say a city, there are parked cars on the side of the road, you were onto the shoulder, and then you don't really need to look back to go to the road. You can just look down to your computer, keep your eyes in front of you if there's potholes, if there's anything else, pedestrians, and then you can really slowly move to the road, avoid that parked car, and then get back to the shoulder right after all of it without looking back. All right, now into group rides, and this is where this product really shines. And first of all, I wanna mention that you can pair this with a bunch of different head units. So there could be only one person with the light and a couple people synced with this device and everyone can see on their head unit how far the cars are, they can get the alerts and they can see how many cars there's behind you as well. So that is really neat. And now a way I've been using this light a lot is when I'm going to ride with my girlfriend. We always go into country roadside where there's not a lot of cars and so we can chat, we are side by side. And before having this light, I was always looking back every 20-ish seconds to see if there's cars because we were side by side in the middle of the street. And now with this light, I can be with my girlfriend, we can be next to each other, talk as long as possible and as soon as there were a car behind, I was alerted, I could then accelerate, go in front, 
hug their side, and then get back next to each other. And this also applied to ride with my buddies when we're just like hanging out, just talking, either warming up or cooling down. We would just want to chat. We don't want to stay into a line all the time. And this just let us take the road for ourselves until there's a car and then as soon as there's a car I can move in or he can move in and it's a super super safe way don't need to look back it's awesome and one of the most obvious way of using this light into a group ride is that you are able to call the car backs for everyone and not only if you're at the rear if you're, even if I am at the front I was able to see the cars before everyone else and be there to call the car back for everyone and this is kind of weird that the guy in front just turned around and say car back it was always a funny experience to see but people really loved it and as soon as they saw me using this light they were like this is really powerful it can really be a lot safer when you're in two groups riding with someone who has a light like this and now another way how i use these lights for group rides is when you're a single file uh, you just did your pull at the front and you want to throw the elbow and let the other people go well, when you do this, what's always stressful is that you're at the front, you start to be really into the red and you have to move in pretty much to the middle of the street, look back if there's cars and now with the light, I am able to do my pull and then slowly move to the middle of the road without ever looking back because this light will alert me if there's a car and when there isn't a car, I can move to the middle of the road, let the train go and then head back to the last wheel of the train and this has been working out so well for me a lot safer because i can keep my eyes in front all the time and now same thing when you're at the back of the peloton when it's single file you can call car backs for everyone in front of you but what is most important is that you don't need to turn your head around i've seen this so many times someone looking back to see if there's a car and then the group in front just start to slow down wheels start to rub each other crash can be caused because someone look back for cars and with this, you don't need to look back. You can just always look forward. You call their car backs and it just, again, safe for everyone. And it's just a lot less annoying because all you have to do is wait for a sound to know there's a car. And now another amazing way to use this light is when there's crosswinds. So let's say I am at the front, I have my light. I can really hug the yellow lines and everyone can be right beside my right and just like that all the way to the side of the road giving space for everyone to be sheltered by the wind and in the event there was a car coming in i can just call it out move everyone to the right side everyone gets a little bit of wind car pass and then we can do that echelon once again and last week in my ride there was a lot of crosswind and the guys that didn't have the light that were going at the front they did not really want to go further than one third of the street and that way only three guys could be sheltered behind them and for us the three other guys had to be into the wind no shelter at all because uh, the friend could not be on the yellow line because he did not know if there were car coming in so if everyone had a light like this and everyone could see on their head unit that cars were coming back we would be able to take more the road for ourselves and move back as soon as car coming in all right so this is pretty much it on all the techniques i've been developing on how i use this Garmin Varia 515 Lite. In the event you want to mount it right behind your saddle bag and not onto the seat post, I've made a full video about it. It just makes it a lot cleaner to have that light a little bit higher right next to the saddle so cars can see you better and it just looks better for an empty seat post. And as you guys can probably tell, I really love this. I don't know why I haven't purchased one before. It's kind of expensive. It's a 300 Canadian dollar. 220-ish USD, but to be honest, it's 200% worth it. As soon as you start to riding with this, you're like, how have I been riding all those years without this information? And just for that reason, this product really get my 100% blessing. Garmin, I've nailed it. Uh, I, I'm so happy I've bought it this year, and I don't think I will ever ride my road bike without it. Battery is good enough, it lasts for 20 hours, so every ride or two I can just plug it in. Just wish it was USB-C, it's regular USB. And other than that, the light also really blasts throughout the day. You can really be seen for a lot further away. And even if it's full daytime, oh, <laughs> even if it's full daytime, uh, having a light can just be another way for cars to see you and to avoid you uh, as much as possible. Um, so. Your safety is worth a lot more than 
300 bucks and trust me you're not going to regret it and if you want to put your hands on one there will be links into the description down below uh, do not hesitate to uh, buy it using my link so i can get a little kick back out of it all right if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a thumbs up subscribe if you aren't already i have a lot more cycling content coming in the next few weeks that you don't want to miss out my name is charles and i will see you guys on the road or into the next video